Back in June, Salina soccer coach Dan Otten underwent surgery to remove a tumor. The six-hour surgery was intense and extensive and was just the start to what would be an extensive recovery process. But during that time, God revealed himself to Coach Otten in a new and very real way. We've really had to learn to not take any of our time that we have to play soccer for granted and just thank God for every moment we have when we're healthy and can play and um, really lean on him to get us through like the tough times. On September 20th, Salinas scored the game-winning goal in the final seconds to beat Wapakoneta, yet the Redskins still wanted to pray with their league rival right after. It was awesome that Wapak does that every game, even though it was such a tough game that we all came together at the end and we could um, pray together and worship together. And the Salina community has rallied together around longtime coach Dan Otten in his battle with cancer. Starting in June when I had the surgery for my cancer, um, looking back on it, it was a kind of a lost summer from a, didn't get to go swimming, didn't get on the boats, didn't go on trail runs. You know, I was in hospitals and rehab and all that kind of stuff. But looking back on it now, I told people, I said, this cancer might have been one of the better things, you know, there's a purpose for everything, one of the better things in my life of teaching me about people, about resiliency, about prayer and support. Everybody knows he's an inspiration. Uh, it's really, it's great to see, have a coach around you constantly that, you know, is a good influence and teaching you good, like, ethics and good ideas, you know, for being a good athlete and working hard and that kind of stuff. I think anyone who has Coach Alton, like, knows he's a special person. I think he teaches, like, people more about sports. Like, he teaches you about your life and I think, um, like, he's more than just a track coach or a soccer coach. He really teaches you how to be a better person. The value of prayer and support of the people, the hundreds of people, thousands of people maybe that have been praying from different churches, I hear. And there's no doubt that's what gets you through it. So I'm pretty positive. Health-wise, I'm doing great. Probably as healthy as I've ever been. My knees don't hurt because I haven't been running for a while. Um, so from a physical end of it, that's what it is. Um, from a mental, I'm better off for it. And so that's where God has a plan for everything. I think this cancer got me on the right path in a mental state. I'm more empathetic, I'm more gung-ho about FCA now, and the way this meeting was today was probably our best meeting in the years I've been involved in FCA. So, you know, sometimes you think your downs are really down in the valleys, but actually it was turned upside down. It was more of a peak for me. Um, and the kids are great, my cross-country kids. Um, I can't watch them all the races. I go to all the meets, but I can't move around, so I don't see them a lot of times, but I trust what they're doing, and they know I trust, and their, their um, willingness to serve me take care of me as caretakers for the things I used to be able to do and thought I could always do. So it's kind of interesting to see how God works just in amazing ways and makes what we think are bad, you know, in his purpose, nothing's bad.